quick test again. Yep. Hello, Sue, Sue. Hello. Hi, I'm Sue. Um, I go under the handle of Mama See, Mama Do. I'm here today with Rocket. I'm a mum of three and I decided to stop by new fashion four years ago and now just wear secondhand vintage pre-loved. So I find my wardrobe, it's a bit like building blocks. It's a bit like starting off with what you love. Don't buy anything apart from what you love. Uh, and build from that. Don't buy things for one occasion. That's the worst thing you can do. Buy things that you that will go with other things in your wardrobe. It looks like on my Instagram I have loads of clothes, but actually if you look down my feed, actually there's a lot of mixing and matching. And, and I think that's the way to build your wardrobe, not buying just statement pieces that you can only wear once or you can only wear to some event. It is really all about buying what you love, buy what you will wear. I see myself as a bit of a collector, um, a hoarder some might say, but I think collector. I'm giving a new life to old things, uh, which is really important because these things need to be seen. So I think with vintage and secondhand, it's, it's about not following the crowd. I definitely think my style is my own now. Um, you can add in as much creativity as you want or as little as you want. But you'll never bump into someone wearing the same thing. Um, when I'm wearing vintage, everybody always says, where did you get that? Whereas if I'm wearing something that's a little bit more modern, people aren't really that taken with it. So I'm hoping to inspire people to, um, to choose and to add in those bits of vintage. No end to uh, creativity when you're talking about vintage and second hand because you really don't know what you're going to find out there. When I go on a sourcing mission, it's always those things that I wasn't really expecting that come and, and bite me on the bum, so to speak. I look for things like buttons, uh, detailing, um, all the things that can just give that extra bit of creativity. And I think when I gave up buying new fashion, the first thing I did was just to remove myself from all the newsletters because then it's just like white noise just hitting you from every direction uh, and like you say telling you what to wear whereas you should be telling yourself what to wear but what was one of the trends at the minute a pop of red and it's like oh god I just know this is all going you know we had Barbie pink and you know where's all that gone now you know I don't see anyone in pink and it's just quite sad that the marketing juggernauts can can overtake and then and then you know where does this this stuff goes. 